Hey guys, I'm here back at the diner bar. Um, just got my appetizer. Um, I ordered the habanero meatballs, so I'm definitely gonna um, taste that in a bit. Um, I got this uh, specially recommended, so I'll let you know in a sec how this tastes. I also ordered the Flintstone. All right, this is new on the menu, guys. So if you've ever been in the diner bar or if you're looking to come by, definitely try this out. This is really good. This is so good. Sweet, not too sweet. Flavorful taste. Definitely check that out. Let's try these meatballs. Mmm. 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 Very tender. Soft. Has a little bit of spice to it, but not too spicy. So, anybody that doesn't like spice, you can definitely try this not too spicy I'm not much of a spicy person and I can handle this I don't need no water no extra water or asking for another bottle of water you don't have to worry about that mm. this is really good and sauce cheese sauce is not overbearing it's not drowning the um, meatballs I mean who doesn't like meatballs you can't go wrong with this mm. more to come more to come now for another appetizer we have the mac and cheese bites. Um, crispy on the outside and cheese or mac and cheese on the inside. Mm. You definitely can't go wrong with these. They come hot, so take your time, but it's very cheesy, it's very soft. Mm. And it tastes very good. Like I said, crispy on the outside and cheesy on the inside. I definitely recommend this as well. <laughs> Whether you have a big appetite or a small appetite, this is definitely in the books. All right. It's definitely a 10 right here, y'all. A 10. I mean, if you know me, I love mac and cheese. So you're always going to see me get mac and cheese in a lot of places. And if I had to compare all the places that had mac and cheese, this is definitely top five. Top five, top five, top five. You already know. Mm. Here you go. Mm. Creamy, soft. Yeah. When you come to Dana Bar, check this out. Definitely number one to pick on the appetizer menu. All right, remember I told you first. Now we're up to the entree. I ordered roast goat carne. That's uh, rice and beans. That's uh, steak and plantains. Um, let's check this out, see how it goes. Mmm, mmm. Not too rough, not too soft. It's just right. Sometimes you go to different places and 
mistake is too hard or mistake is actually chewy. Mm. That right there is good, very tasty. Um, let's try this rice. Mm. Rice is also cooked well. Yeah, that's some extra toppings on here. I'm definitely gonna mix that in together. Everyone else could do it the way they like to do it, but I like to mix my uh, my vegetables and you know my peppers and onions and tomatoes with the uh, with the rice. But. Definitely. If you're not if you're not sure what to eat at Dino Bar and you're looking for uh, something different that you're not normally uh, used to, I would definitely uh, go for the Rosco Carne. This is uh, a really good meal. It's a lot. It's very fulfilling. So if you have an appetite, you'll probably eat it all. And if you don't, you can definitely take it home. But uh, I can't can't explain. Really good. Mm. This right here is very tasty. Mm. Mm. This is really good. Really good, guys. You definitely gotta come out here, man. You guys gotta come. I'm doing this for you guys. For you. Just remember I told you first. <laughs>